as a believer, oh, you are separated from the world. I say, and then Paul say, you are in this world. Paul, the apostle. I say, Paul. I say, well, the way um banana free. So you are a stranger, a guest. You are an alien. But the people who believe, you are a believer in the kingdom of God. But yes, it. And he's also a believer. Your place, your world, is not this natural world. Your world is a world that you don't see, but you believe. That's faith where Jesus lives. So I think what you see you now it's not faith. What you hear, it's not faith. What you touch, it's not faith. What you smell, it's not faith. Yes. But you have the conviction. Blessed are those who have not seen but yet believe. But, so if you want to run a business, don't think it starts with money. It starts with what? Solving a problem. <laughs> you got me, right? Yeah. So solve a problem. Jesus said we have to serve people. So when you are serving, you are solving a problem. When you solve a problem, God solves your problem. You know, when you solve a problem, that means that you are operating in the kingdom of God. Yeah, kingdom of God is about solving a problem. Because Jesus showed us that we needed to be saved. Because the problem is we were sinners. Yeah, and then Jesus came and solved a problem. So then, if you say Jesus is your royal priest, right? I know your royal priest. Yeah, then do what Jesus did: solve a problem. Stop chasing money and solve problems. That's it. You want money? Solve a problem. Money follows the problem that you just solved. And because in the kingdom of God, since you did it out of love, out of passion, out of the willingness to serve God, no, money follows that. Let me give you a perfect exam example. You heard about you heard of uh, King Solomon, right? Yeah. Uh, you heard of his fa uh, Solomon's father, right? You know Solomon's father's name? Solomon's father is David. King David. Okay, I'm glad you know the story. So David was a king. He was a warrior. And then David had a whole lot of riches, a lot of money, right? A lot of money according to scripture. And then David saved a whole lot of uh, uh, different types of uh, 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 diamonds to uh, 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 jewelry type, to stones, to gold, to silver, to whatever, right? So when David died, his son Solomon took over. Listen to the story. The amazing thing is, when Solomon took over, God asked Solomon, Solomon, and then I'll make your mouth. You know the story? Yeah, 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 okay. Right. Then what did Solomon say? Then Solomon kind Wisdom to govern my country, right? Yes. Okay. Did God give him wisdom? God mind the wisdom, right? Now, me mind the wisdom according to the Bible. No? The question is, why didn't Solomon ask for money, gold, riches? God said, because you did not ask for money, you're not chasing after the idols. Money is an idol. Because you are not chasing money, because you're not chasing the world, but God said, because you, you ask something that is more me, that is more like God. I'm a God who gives wisdom. And because you ask for wisdom, Solomon, 
guess what? I, I will give you money too. You know why? Wisdom comes with money. <laughs> get it? But check this though. They, Solomon was not broke. Because you are, wa- you are walking in the world. He said if it was him, he would ask for money. He would ask for money to build houses. Okay? If it was today, you are worried about your money. But God is saying, I am your money. I just need you to give me your life. And I will give you money. So, so, but guess what though? Solomon already had money because his father has accrued money for him. So he didn't need to ask God for money because he was already rich. But when he asked God for wisdom, God tripled everything. Give him added more money. So everything. He had money, but God said, I'm going to give you more. Because you asked for wisdom. So the point is, when you... When you are seeking God and you want God, and you say, God, give me your wisdom. Once you get wisdom, it comes with money. It comes with money because now I have a wisdom to do this, to do this, to do this, to do this, and I'm in the kingdom of God. So God, who gave me the wisdom, now is going to help me to increase my money, my money, my money, my money. That's how we are supposed to walk in the kingdom of God. God.